So we've done webcam borders, stinger transitions, webcam borders again, and now it's time for me to release my free stream alerts pack. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So everyone has been asking me to do more stuff based on alerts. We've done webcam border packs, and we've done stinger transition packs, and now it's time for an alert pack. It's been requested like crazy, and one reason why I have not released it yet is because I don't have a ton of experience with designing alerts, and I'm still learning every day that I work on them. So I just wanted to release this pack to just kind of show some of the ones that I've been working on, and we're going to keep getting better and better and releasing more packs until we've got some super high quality stuff here on this channel for you to just take away and throw into your Twitch stream. But these are the first ones that I'm somewhat happy with that I'm able to release to you guys for free inside of After Effects. As always, you can jump down in the description and download this pack right now. Jump into After Effects and add in your logo, change some colors, change some text, and you've got your own alerts for your very own Twitch stream. So let's go ahead and jump in. But first, I just wanted to remind you that I do try to stream every Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash bravitym. And then also, if you guys do want to have some alerts and overlays and all kinds of stuff and you do not own After Effects, make sure you check out my link in the description for placeit.net. It's an awesome website where you can design all sorts of stuff for your streams and your YouTube videos without owning After Effects or a single piece of software. It is incredible and right now the link in my description is for 15% off for placeit.net, so make sure you check that out. But without further ado, let's jump into After Effects and take a look at this alert pack. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects, and as you can see, when you open up the template, it is going to look like this. You got tons of compositions down here. You've got Alert 1, Alert 2, Alert 3, Alert 4, and then all these ones where you can edit things. So Alert 1 looks like this. It's a very simple, just box-based alert where you can change the text, and then you can change this little symbol to be whatever you want over here. Alert 2 is a Nate Hill-style alert. A lot of people have been asking about Nate Hill's alert. He's got a very simple alert with just a black box and then you got the uh, you got his logo over here so there is his alert then we've got alert 3 here this is just a uh, kind of cypher PK style one that I did previously but this one comes down from the top just like that obviously you have your own text in there from your alert and then it jumps at the top and then my favorite alert 4 this one is really cool it jumps in with a burst like that and then goes down let's go ahead and play that again now that it is rendered in so it comes in with like a little burst and then goes down to the bottom obviously you change the text to be whatever you want new follower, new subscriber, all kinds of stuff like that. But when you're ready and you want to make an alert and you want to pick out which one you want, let's say you want to use alert four here. You see, you got the alert where you can export it and you see you got your new follower text here. You could change this to say just like new sub delete the R there. There we go. And it's just that easy to make it say now new sub. And then you'd export that one for your subscribers. And then if you want to change the colors, you'll see you got a composition here called alert for colors. You just want to click that and you see you got this dark blue and light blue. And if you go up to the effects controls, you see you got your gradient ramps where you can change the colors of those. And when you go back to alert four, it's going to be completely updated for you with the new colors, with the new text, and then you are ready to export. For alert three, you've got kind of a similar situation where you can export it from here but you've got your colors in here it's just a red box with a white outline both of these when you click on them and go to effects controls you see you got your gradient ramp for the red background and then you've got your white fill for this kind of outline that goes around the middle for alert 2 this one's a little bit different because there's not much colors to change it's really just a black box and then your logo so if you want to put your logo here and have the Nate Hill kind of style you got your your logo here composition you just want to delete this logo or at least hide it and then drop your own logo inside of this composition here and when you go back to alert 2 you'll have your logo animating in over here next to the black box where you got your text for your alert that one's nice and simple and then for alert 1 you've got the exact same situation you've got the colored bars here that kind of fly across in the animation and if you want to change those colored bars you've got alert 1 colors and you've got all these blues that if you jump up here in the effects controls you can see you got all your fills to change all those blue colors to be whatever you want and then you go back to alert 1 and in here you can actually change this uh change this money sign here to be whatever you want you can even delete or hide this and make it be a heart for a follow the money sign for the donation any kind of symbol you want you can just throw it in right there and then you got your text here that comes in but obviously for every single one of these alerts the text that is in here is just a filler so when you go to export it make sure you hide or delete the bravity M text there and alert to the Nate Hill one you just want to hide the text here because remember all this text is going to be placed in by your alert program like by stream 
Streamlabs or Stream Elements. So you actually don't want to export any of this text. You do want to export the text on Alert 4 where it says new sub because that's going to be built into the alert, but all the text underneath it where it says who subscribed, who followed, obviously that is going to be based on what uh, happens in your stream. And that's going to be for your alert program to decide. So make sure you hide all the uh, text before you export because you do not want that on top of your alert. And that is pretty much it. You can just change your colors, change the symbol, make sure the text is hidden and it is time to export. And what is time to export, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that the in and out points are set for you. They are, we have set them perfectly for you. And you just want to go to composition and add to render queue. Once you've added it to the render queue, you're going to go to output module lossless, where it says lossless in blue, and click that and change it from AVI to QuickTime, and then from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha just means there's a transparent background. You need that transparent alpha background for alerts so that it goes over the top of your stream. So then you just want to hit OK. And then for output two, where it says alert four or alert whatever number you chose, you just want to click that, and that's where you can name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then you just want to hit render over here, and you are done. But you're not entirely done creating your alerts because you just exported an MOV, a QuickTime file out of After Effects. Once you're done with that, you either want to bring it into Premiere Pro and use Premiere Pro to export it as a WebM. You're going to need to install a plugin for Premiere Pro to export WebMs, or you can use your favorite online WebM media encoder. You just drop your uh, MOV or QuickTime file that you just exported out of After Effects into there, and then they're going to give you an encoded WebM file. And the reason you want to do that is because for alerts, you need them to be in a WebM form format or a GIF format, but these will work best if they are in WebM. And then you just want to place them inside of your alert program, Streamlabs, Stream Elements. I'm going to recommend Stream Elements for some of these because they have very um, kind of intense and intricate animations and you want to be able to have control over the text. And I know that Stream Elements has a lot more control over text when you're placing them inside of alerts, but that is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy your new alerts. Once again, I am going to be working on these alerts, working on new ones constantly, and I'm going to be a re releasing new alert packs very soon. We're also working on another stinger transition pack, so make sure you guys are staying tuned and subscribe to the channel for whenever that comes out and turn on the notification. Once again, I do try to stream every Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity m, so if you want to jump over there and drop a follow and maybe catch a live stream, that would be awesome, but I will see you guys in the next video.